G'day guys, Aaron here from Shooting Stuff Australia and today I have the Lisco LA-102 chambered in 223. Now this is the recalled barrel, so as you would have known, about a year or so ago they found a very hairline crack in one of their barrels, so they did the right thing and they just recalled all the 223s and the 243s and replaced them with the new barrels. But today we'll be seeing how well this actually performs. Now this is a 22 inch barrel, coated in their titanium finish with the walnut stock. This looks absolutely beautiful. It is a uh, bit of a heavier gun being timber, but it just feels so nice. Very, very nicely balanced and it just looks like it's been made really well. It is topped off with the Sig Sauer BDX scope. This is the 6.5 to 20 by 52. So it's a rangefinder combination scope. You just range find your target and it'll adjust it in the scope where to hold over. I'm also running the Atlas bipod with the Bosca bell interchangeable feet. It also comes with a threaded barrel. And I tell you now, the trigger feels very nice. Very crisp, no creep in it, it just breaks nicely. Comes with a four round detachable box magazine and quite a nice comfy recoil pad. This just feels very nice in the hand, this gun. So the bolt, like most Lithgow guns, is very smooth. So let's just get out there and see how well she performs. Target set up at 100 metres. We'll run a few brands of ammunition through this, including my own reloads, which is the 55 grain Z Maxes. This is the first time I've used the Sig Sauer BDX system with the rangefinder, so it'll be very interesting to see how this goes. Okay, well I'm pretty happy with the way these new barrels actually go. So I started off with the Hornady bolt pack steel case. It's just a soft point and it got about the one inch. And then we moved over to the 60 grain Hornady tap, which I'm very impressed about. Shame I had that one little flyer on the side, but all four touching just here. So without the flyer, it'd actually be a half MOA. Then we move down to the Buffalo River. And once again, one fly to the side and all four touching. And finally, my own hand loads that I actually made these a couple of years ago. And I don't actually own a 2 3 bolt action anymore. So I've just had them sitting in the shelf. And we are looking at same thing, one flyer and the rest of the four touching. And it actually looks like I got one in pretty much the same hole. So for the group test, I've got to say, they've done really well with the new barrels. Target's up there at 200 meters. I'm just going to try some Buffalo River and the Hornady Tap Ammo. The 60 grain has seemed to be working quite well. And I do really like the scope. So I was just doing the group at 100 meters, so now I just range find it. And it is saying... three meters. So now it has sent it to the scope, and it will adjust a dot further down for my holdover. So I'll just use the dot and see if it hits it.
Very happy with that. Now the uh, crosshairs are slightly thicker in this, but it does have the LED lights going across it. So uh, it's a little bit hard to see the small dot I put up there, but uh, everything hit the headshot and it's exactly where I was aiming. not sighted in for the uh, buffalo ammo at all, so it's shooting slightly to the right, but I tell you what, it's still grouping extremely nicely. Both these rounds are great rounds to use. Well guys, i got to say, this gun worked flawlessly. It was an absolute joy to shoot. It worked at every single distance. The scope system of the BDX, I tell you now, it is great. I really, really do like it. At the 100 meter zero, bang on. The 200, and then uh, at the 330, it worked fine. I just put that dot on the target, and pretty much every time, uh, the extinguishers went down. The bolt was very smooth and the trigger was very, very crisp. No creep, just broke nicely. The timber work is beautiful on this. It was a nicely weighted rifle too. It is a heavy rifle being a timber stock and a varmint barrel. It's great that it's threaded. So when you're selling them overseas that can have suppressors, they can use that and save their hearing. It is so good seeing these rifles being made in Australia. Uh, the new barrels are absolutely perfect. You would have seen the longer ammo test I did on it in the previous video. And uh, once again today, just absolutely beautiful. Everything I put through this worked really well. There was no jam ups. There was nothing getting caught on the feed lip. Just the whole thing worked fine. I really do recommend one of these guys. If you're in the market for a great 223, I definitely think you should have a look at the Aussie made Lithgow. It is a beautiful rifle. Thanks a lot, guys.